Hello class, how's your day? I hope you are doing great. It's me again, Sir Noel, as your virtual teacher to clarify the lessons we have in business mathematics for the second quarter. The week 5 topic is all about presentation and analysis of business data. For this lesson, I will demonstrate how to analyze and interpret the data presented in the table using the measures of central tendency and variability. Instead of using the formulas and computing for the measures, we can input the values in Excel and generate the values for each, such as mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. All we have to do is make sure that the data analysis feature is installed in your Excel. If data analysis is not yet installed in Excel, follow these steps. Number one, from the file menu, select Options. Next, select Add-ins. Then, choose Analysis Toolpack, VBA, then press Go. Then, tick the box for Analysis Toolpack, VBA, and press OK. Data Analysis is now installed. We will now be using Microsoft Excel to determine the measures of central tendency and variability. Let us have this example. Ernesto Manalo is a full-time worker at ABC Trading Corporation. Below is his salary from December 16 to 31, 2022. He was absent on December 21. Determine the following. Number 1. Mean. Number 2. Median. Number 3. Mode. Number 4. Range. Number 5. Third quartile or the upper quartile. Number 6. Variance. Number 7. Standard deviation. And number 8. Coefficient of variation. Using Excel, encode the given data in one column for the salary from December 16 to 31. Now, select Data, then Data Analysis. Select Descriptive Statistics, and then click OK. You can now see the following data. The mean is 1010, median is 950, mode is 950, the range is 700, variance is 37,571 and 43, standard deviation is 193 and 83. To get the third quartile, you need to arrange first the data in ascending order. For quartile 3, the formula is n times 3 fourths. Since n is 15, then multiply it by 0 0.75 or 3 fourths. The upper quartile then or the Q3 is 15 times 0.75 is 11.25 or the 11th data point. So the upper quartile is 1050. To get the coefficient of variation, we need to divide the standard deviation to the mean multiply by 100. 
193.8335 divided by 1010 is 19.19%. I hope this video lesson had helped you in analyzing and answering your modified assessment. Happy learning!